from the moment you arrive in the town of Cave Creek, feel like you've stepped back into the wild, wild west. It's one of those towns that is rooted in that real Western lifestyle that most people think of when they think of Arizona. So where is the town of Cave Creek, you ask? The town of Cave Creek sits in the desert foothills just north of Phoenix. It also borders Carefree and Scottsdale. Sitting in the middle of Cave Creek is Black Mountain, and to the north is Elephant Butte. Now, when you pull up Cave Creek on the map, it will show you the north portion of Cave Creek. This is what many feel is the real Cave Creek. When looking for property, this is also where you'll find the larger lots. Many of them will be horse properties, some with little ranchettes on it, and others with large facilities for personal use or for boarding. The views when you get out here are really beautiful, looking out at Elephant Butte and the ranges beyond or back towards the city of Cave Creek. It can get quite hilly in some areas and you will climb in elevation, which is nice for the overall temperatures in the summer and in the winter. You will be cooler here. There are some places that you'll be driving on a paved road and then that pavement will just end and you'll be driving on a dirt road all the way to your home. And if you forgot to pick something up at the grocery store, it's not a quick trip back but the people living here don't really mind that. I can honestly say that when I'm out here, everything just seems to slow down a bit and it's really nice. Feeling like you are one with nature with lots of open space between the homes, miles of hiking, biking, and horseback riding trails, either right from your house or you can go to Spur Cross or Cave Creek Regional Park for endless outdoor activities. So homes in this area range in price from about 500,000 to over 5 million. And as I mentioned before, the lots in this area are also quite large, but the range can be anywhere from about an acre to 10 acres with one home currently on the market with 61 acres of land. Now, the other thing to note about the homes in this area is that architecturally, you're going to find homes more similar to what you would think about as an Arizona home, that territorial flat roof style home. You're going to find a lot of that in here. Not everything, but you're gonna find more of that here than in some of the other areas. Now, over the past three to four years, there has been some more building, more in Cave Creek proper, closer to that downtown area where people have bought a parcel of land, subdivided, so you're gonna have smaller lots on with smaller homes. So if that is something that you're looking for, not the big acreage, not the big house, not the big horse property, you can find that downtown carefree. As I said, the town of Cave Creek is known mostly for its very Western downtown with saloons, restaurants, and shops. Now, when I say saloons, some of these will take you back in time with sawdust on the floors and swinging doors when you first walk in. And if you'd like to learn how to two-step or ride a bull, you can do that right here at the Buffalo Chip. This downtown area also has some iconic restaurants, shops, and amazing metal sculptures and other fantastic art. Frontier Town in the town of Cave Creek has been there since before the town was incorporated and is truly like stepping back in time to 1870. Now, Frontier Town has some of the best souvenirs that I have found. They also have some great events. And you see that white chapel right behind me? Have you ever wanted to have a real Western wedding? Well, you can do that right here. Cave Creek is also known for a few of the events they host every year. One is Rodeo Days. This consists of a week-long celebration honoring the town's Western heritage with a parade, mutton busting. And if you don't know what mutton busting is, this is where they put kids on a sheet to race. You have to see it. They also have a rodeo, dances, a golf tournament, three PRCA rodeo performances, and a ton more. People come from all over to experience this. The other big event is Bike Week. This is held at the Hideaway Restaurant and Bar with thousands that come to enjoy our weather and the camaraderie of all the other bike lovers. Now this coincides with Arizona Bike Week, so there is a ton to do. Think mini Sturgis. During this event, you will have hundreds of bikers riding around Arizona, but many of them have kind of a hub in Cave Creek. Now there is only one golf course in the town of Cave Creek and that's Rancho Manana. This is a resort with multiple amenities right around the corner from downtown. Now within Rancho Manana, you also have a few private residences. So it makes it great to be right there at the resort as well as around the corner from downtown. Now, if golf is your thing, don't worry because remember that other part of Cave Creek I told you about? This area has multiple golf courses with homes that sit on the course. So if you're looking for that lifestyle, it's here. This section of Cave Creek has multiple subdivisions with condos, townhomes, and single family homes. A few of the larger subdivisions here are Dove Valley Ranch, Tatum Ranch, and Lone Mountain. And Dove Valley Ranch and Tatum Ranch both have golf courses within the community. Now, Tatum Ranch's golf course is private, so membership is required. 
but Dove Valley Ranch is public. With Cave Creek being so close to Scottsdale, if you are looking for more courses to play, they are only minutes from your doorstep. Now you will have some horse property sprinkled throughout this portion of Cave Creek as well. The lot sizes are gonna range from about an acre to five acres. And the price points for homes in this area are gonna be about 350,000 to over 4 million. There really are only a few differences between these two areas of Cave Creek. Now the first area we talked about, the town of Cave Creek, we'll call Cave Creek proper, they pay taxes to the town of Cave Creek. The other section of Cave Creek we just talked about pays taxes to Phoenix. Now Cave Creek proper has almost no HOAs, where the other section of Cave Creek has a lot of HOAs. This second section of Cave Creek that we've talked about is going to feel a lot more like some of the other areas in the whole Phoenix area. Many more subdivisions, homes that have HOAs like we just talked about, but for amenities like parks and pools and tennis courts, things like that, where Cave Creek proper just doesn't have things like that. Overall, the lifestyle anywhere you live in Cave Creek is very relaxed and laid back, and the people that live here absolutely love it. If you like this video, and you wanna see the top five neighborhoods in North Scottsdale, take a look at this video right here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.